Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to unbox, install the Parkside air filter regulator and lubricator. Comes with a three year warranty. It's a three in one system, uh, pressure regulation, compressed air filter and lubricator. Let's open it up. Some screws to install it on the wall. Manual, multiple language. And here we have the system. So here we have it. Um, this is the uh, pressure meter with B B BAR bar and PSI, 10 bars or 150 PSI, regulation button for the air pressure and the regulation for the oil flow. This is the inlet from your compressor, you connect it to your compressor, this is the outlet that go is going to your air tools. This nipple is to let the water out, this is a condensation container and if, uh, if you see any water in here, you can just easily let it out here. Let's take it outside and connect it to the compressor. So after hanging it on the wall and putting pressure on it, um, the unit started leaking oil here. No matter if I opened or closed the, the knob for the lubrication, it, it kept on leaking here at the glass. So I sent little a message and they took care of the warranty and sent me a new unit. About the handling of the warranty, I made a video, which I will link after this video. So you can also watch that. And here I got the new unit so we can continue with the installation. The new one I got from little shop, the replacement unit. Let's hang it here. So let's fill the container again, connect it to the compressor and connect an air tool or handgun. Here we have the pneumatic oil, the oil especially for air tools. You got two types of oils, one for the compressor that goes into the motor of the compressor. And there's another one, lubrication for the air tools which goes in here. Don't make that mistake that you put the wrong oil in. go there the rubber ring is still inside here this should be enough Never do this when you have the pressure on it, otherwise the oil will come out 
of course make sure it's tightened up very well air filter also really work very well now we can connect the compressor the pressure is on close down the pressure to see how it operates when it goes to zero and there it is zero open it up and you see the pressure will come back First we close it. Okay. Let's connect an air tool. Simple, I just connect this one. We'll also work with the lubrication. Put some pressure on it. One BAR. And turn on the lubrication, see what's happening. Have to close it up a little bit. And I hope we can see something here. Well, at least it's not leaking. Put some more pressure on. Two bars. And against the clock is more lubrication. And here on the inside, you can see the, the hose for the lubrication when I use the air you see will you will see it will come up And of course, on this side, you can let the water out if there is any water in here. Not pushing it. 
back inside. I'm gonna keep the old one just for parts. The new one works fine. Easy to regulate the air here and easy to adjust the lubrication. The meter works fine. You can easily let water out of the condensation container and you could see in the video that it picked up the oil very well for the lubrication. So I'm happy that I got this replacement one. If you want to see the warrant, uh, uh, warranty video, I will link it in the end of this video. For now, please like my video, subscribe to my channel for future videos, and I hope to see you in next video. Thanks for watching.